allowing a lot of sending parents sending their children to the school of their choice, be it public, parochial, or private. How about vouchers? It's kind of the same question. Um, we kind of already answered that a little bit. So, the, is there a clarification? Did say whether they actually support? Okay, you heard that, gentlemen. You can support it. First part to uh, support of uh, open enrollment, basically, allowing parents to send their children to other school districts, is that correct? To, to, the, to the school of their choice. School of their choice. Parents to select the child to the school that they want their child to go to. Yeah. I support that. The, I think it's been, oh, it's been over 10 or 15 years that the legislature passed that, so open enrollment. There is open enrollment. The, the school has to accept it. A piece so I can clarify. The, the, three, the three choices were public, parochial, or private. Other and vouchers to support that choice. Okay, now I understand the question. Whether they can send, if they, send, if they stay within the public school system, the state pays for it, and, and that's been open enrollment for years. As far as private and parochial schools, I'm a, I'm a, I am. You know, in support of them being able to do it, but I think it's an economic and personal choice. They need to pay for it. I don't, at this point, support vouchers. I haven't seen any evidence that would make me support those vouchers. Does that answer your question? No. <laughs> what, what you're saying is that you do not support the right of parents to send a child to the school of their choice. Because it is an economic matter. They're already paying the property taxes and everything else. You know, this of course the public school system that, that, that goes into the public funds. And I in order for them to have the right to send it their child to the parochial school of their choice, or their private school of their choice, or their uh, charter school of their choice, but they need to be able to have the I actually question think he answered the question. So let's if you want to respond for Seconds. Okay, short answer, yes. Parents should be able to send the kids their school or choice. If they choose a parochial or private school that is not state supported, they need the parents need to pay for it. Yes. We don't fund our schools very well. So I, I support people going to where they wish, but I want to see more evidence on the on the uh, charter schools. What I read today was the jury somewhat out on that. I'm not willing to jeopardize our schools even more because we're we're funding at the bottom of the barrel right now, and uh, I think we can delete that even more. I think the parents do have rights to send school the kids where they want at this point. You have a right to send your children to any accredited school. No problem there. My folks paid for it. Six children to go to a parochial school, five to go to high school as well. They did that by working two jobs. It was their choice. The children got the education that they thought was best, but it was their choice. It was their dollar. I support that concept. I don't support taking away money from our public school system when we are underfunded now. So the answer is yes and no. Um, yeah. <laughs> a lawyer answer. <laughs> I don't have a lawyer answer uh, because from what I observe, we're doing all these crazy things with entitlements, trying to increase them here in South Dakota with immigration and all those things. It's 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 here just like it is other places. We just don't see it in Lee, South Dakota, and Deadwood, South Dakota. But you go east of river, you're going to see this. So there's a lot of money out there being funneled out into a lot of things. I'd like that money to go into ability for my grandchildren to be educated wherever they want to be and paid for with vouchers. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm sure there's money that can be used for that and not in some of these crazy entitlements that are out there now. I think we do have a public school education funding problem in this state, but part of the problem, at least in Lawrence County, is, you know, I don't know what the percentages are today, but there's a large number of folks that, you know, say thanks but no thanks to a, to a publicly paid for education. They choose to privately or, or uh, parochially school their children. Uh, what, 
why is that? Why is it that people choose to not have their children in the public school system? And I think if you had a voucher system to change the relationship with the parents, maybe that the school administrators and the school board would be more receptive to listening to that point of view if there were dollars attached to it. I don't think it ought to pay the full boat. I think if you're going to have a voucher, it ought to pay a portion of it. The devil's in the details, though, and you got to be careful about what you ask for because if you start using vouchers, you know, to be able to fund parochial schools or Christian schools, then what strings are going to be attached to that voucher? And what are, what's the government going to be able to say that you can and can't teach? In your, you got to consider that. And so to just make a blanket statement, yeah, I would support, you know, having vouchers for Christian schools. Well, that depends. The caveat is that depends on how restrictive they can be on how that money can be spent. And you can guarantee whoever pays the, the, the piper calls the tooth. And so if the, if the parochial schools receive money, there's going to be strings attached. 